All right, y'all. Awesome response to the Double Den video. That was the first time I ever recorded a video, edited it, and posted it, you know, within 24 hours. I didn't get posted that night. Um, it took me took me probably about two to three hours to go through all the footage and edit everything and then by the time the app produced it and then uploaded to youtube it then posted the next morning um shout out to scott at uh etches for putting me on their um installer list national authorized installers for those double den kits and i i had already signed up to do that um i just kept forgetting to turn in the uh there's like a form you have to fill out and stuff uh but shout out to him for adding me um i got a lot of messages about the car and you know what else are you doing to the car and i want to see the rest of the system so i'm just finishing it up just doing the last couple little things to it and uh, i'm about to actually take the wheels off and everything so i figure and it's about to rain so i'm about to try to just get some quick footage of it it's still not quite in place it's gonna take me two seconds to put everything back together but i'm fighting the rain and time so um i'll start with um the radio it's a jvc double din as you know you saw in the video it's a short chassis uh, i ran the usb cable under the dash here under the ashtray uh the tear amps does not come with a base knob so i added a lc1 uh line out base knob for it I'm um, in the process of swapping out to put this steering wheel on the car that matches the wheels. Um, we got uh, Fosgate six and a half um, T2s with the matching tweeter. I told the customer I was going to put the tweeter up here. I really couldn't find a good place to put it. Um, you can see it's not quite flush, but what I did was I took the tweeter mount, I epoxied it to the A-pillar, painted it with SEM to match, and then mounted the tweeter. So you can kind of see back here, it's the same color as the uh, the um, the A-pillar, so it doesn't look too terrible. Same thing for the other side. Um, same thing here, six and a half, and I made some brackets out of MDF and carpet. Uh, I'll take it to the back. In the back, we're running Fosgate Power, um, coaxial speaker six by nines uh, also power series um same thing i'm running in my car and let's see so this is the amp rack uh that i built oh there we go i'll put some kill mat back here all right so there's the amp rack we got a tear amps hd 3000 uh tear amps ds 800 times four and then those are the crossovers for the um the Fosgate components up front. I couldn't, they were too big to mount behind the door. So I mounted them back here on the amp rack. Um, got a second battery here. So we have the one run coming from the, from the battery up front, which is a yellow top Optima. This is Stinger Pro Series 1-Ot OFC. And then this, uh, so this comes from up front. Actually, no, this one comes from up front. That's why I have it split wound. This one goes into the, uh, power distribution block and then you got four gauge running to the two amps uh, I put a little bit of kill mat in here nothing crazy I didn't go nuts on this trunk just to stop a little bit of the flex on the side keep some of that sound in normally I do the whole trunk but I didn't have enough material to do that um, custom made box my boy built this for me running two audio pipe BD4s 12s box is tuned to 34 hertz um, these are the wheels. These are 24 inch SD forged um, concaves in rose gold. They're a little dirty because I was driving the car earlier, making sure everything was good before I delivered it to the customer. Floating caps, of course. Um, I had to do some repair on this caliper back here, so that wheel is off. I'm about to take the rest of them off. Um, little minor stuff, just repainting the. Uh, wiper blades just cleaning it up and then those are the wheels we installed these one piece clear headlights with some leds um what else did i do to this car oh this car has got full qa1 coilover suspension uh everything upper lower control arms upgraded sway bar the whole nine and it's got tubular control arms in the front and coilovers in the front as well it rides really nice um and i did oil transmission pan gasket oil cooler lines just little simple stuff like that um so just finishing it up now 
little touch-up stuff that I like to do, paint the rings on the, uh, these rings tend to flake on the headlights, I'm sorry, on the taillights. So I like to go in and just clean them up, hit them with some, some paint, some black paint, just to kind of clean them up a little bit before I deliver the car. Just little minor, small things that go a long way. So it's starting to drizzle. Um, let me wrap this up and um, get it loaded on the trailer, take it back to the client. All right, this is in the process of, uh, what the hell? Why is it upside down? There we go. All right, so I was in the process of uh, taking the wheels off and I forgot to mention for this particular car, for whatever reason, I had to put longer um, studs in. I did it in the front and the rear. Um, just when we put the wheels on and we put the lug nuts on, it just wasn't grabbing enough threads that we were comfortable with. Uh, so I went ahead and swapped out all the studs for longer ones. Um, these are about considerable amount longer than the uh, factory ones here. Um, I think they were about half inch longer. And actually we didn't even have to go that long because once I got them on, we realized the top of the lug nut, there's no threads, but it's got good threads. But I also want to show you the tubular um, control arms here. We got the coilovers, QA1, sway bar, tubular lower control arm. Man, it's a nice unit. Nice, nice parts here. So, anyway, let me go ahead and get the rest of these wheels off and uh, get the get the trailer and get this back to my client. Pretty sure he'll be happy to uh, get his car back. All right, here's the rear setup. Um, we did the drill that slotted rotors, um, power stock brakes, and then these are the QA1 extended control arms, QA1 sway bar, and coilovers in the rear. Wasn't too bad, pretty easy to install. Wasn't too bad at all. And then the extended studs on the rear as well. Well, my, uh, after I was putting them wheels on that car, my barber called me. Um, he's got a he's got a Caprice. That's actually how we met. I was going to Walmart one day, and anytime I see somebody in an Impala or a Caprice or something, I pull up on them. Like, hey, introduce myself. This is what I do. If you need anything, so I introduced myself to him. Told me he was a barber. So you know, I was looking for a new barber at the time anyway. So I started. You know, he started cutting my hair or whatever. He's super into cars. He's got a few. He's got a Camaro. He's got a Caprice, and he's got a. Um, my other dream vehicle which i already had one but i want another one he's got a 97 two-door tahoe that has an ls in it uh he had a shop in marietta put the put the ls in it oh. he had a shop in marietta put the ls in it it was doing the first test drive the alternator went out right down the street from my house so i already had the truck and trailer hooked up and i was like oh i'll just come you know i'll tow you or whatever luckily it was the alternator because i don't have a winch on my trailer yet on my new trailer because my old one got stolen but that's a whole different story um, so I loaded his truck up on the trailer, um, and we were turning in and I busted my tire. So brand new trailer, flat tire. And of course I don't have the tools to change it. Of course I don't have the tools to change it. Um, I got it hooked up to my 03 Silverado. Um, if you go a couple videos back, um, I got a video of me putting a cam and heads on this. Um, it's got a 4L80 in it now. I recently put a 4L80 in it. The transmission that was in it, there was nothing wrong with it. Um, I actually sold that transmission and put it in another car of a client of mine and put the 4L80 in here. And I have a 60 LQ9 that's gonna go in here pretty soon as well. Um, and possibly turbo. Uh, but this is his 97 two-door right here. My boy Torian, you've seen him in my videos, he went out, I think somewhere in Tennessee and picked this thing up. I mean, it's completely different than when uh, when he picked it up. But we're gonna go ahead and get this tire changed and get back on the road. Well, we're I'm dropping this car off here. I gotta get it back home. But luckily my new trailer came with a spare. Oh, uh, no, I think I should. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna unload this guy. 
And I'm gonna get some, uh, it's, it's recording. Oh, shit. Yeah, I set it up. Yes, sir. Uh, I let my barber James hold the camera. Oh, um, I'm trying to get better at these videos, posting them more often. I might try to post this like tomorrow. So you tried to put the blame on me? Yeah, this is definitely your fault. 100%. I mean, yeah, nah. 100%. We going, yeah, all right, I take it, I take it. I, re, I accept responsibility. I'm a responsible, I'm a responsible adult. I guess, all these toys, you can call me an adult, but shit, man. I, I wanted to kill the tires today, since it's still wet, if we can get that starter put in. Or no, alternator, alternator, get that alternator swap. When I get it down, get a shot of, I gotta Nah, he, I mean, he gonna do this shit. No, he I'm here. Uh, all right, this motherfucker. Oh, motor under there. oh yeah, oh yeah. So two tone over there though. Huh? See two tone on that side. Yeah. This the this the pretty side. Woo! Put this one on my channel, and then make, every time I see it, it got something different. So people like seeing the update. Yeah, update the fuck out my shit. I'll be playing. It's almost over. I got just the, just the roof, tires. Who you gonna have put the roof in? You gonna have them put the yeah, roof? Yeah, you gonna do the roof. Yeah, that's gonna be dope. Gas tank, I'm gonna put an S10 gas tank. Why S10, huh? That's the one that I heard fit. And I, I know, yeah, I know, Um. Somebody bump, I don't, I don't want to see it and I don't want nobody to bump into me oh, if that shit blow up. Yup. Right, let me see it. You got the key? Yeah. Oh, well. What's up? Oh, okay. I was just looking at the wire. So, this is motor. So, this is a 5.3. From a silver arc. Hold on, I got you. I got you. 5-3 from Silverado. Um they did this swap in like three days. He said. So he was just out testing it, seeing what else needed to be done. You in it? Yeah. Alright, go ahead, fire it up. Go ahead and back it down. You go ahead back it straight back. <laughs> you don't want to take no chances. <laughs> huh? Here. <laughs> you got it. Professional handle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You don't touch the lineup, the beard and shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is like five haircuts right there. There you go. Oh, we good. Don't even trip, nigga. Like six haircuts. You solid, nigga. About nine haircuts. I'm, uh, look, we we you could just get you could just get a uh, a platinum, nigga. I throw some pe some color in there. Color. You, you, you get a facial peel, you be good. Look at oh, it's all it's always crazy to see somebody else driving up shit though. Yeah, she's sitting right. I ain't gotta come down no more. It ain't gonna start up now. Yeah, I just turned it off so the the uh, battery pack would die. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Cause where are you putting it? Uh, right over there. I'm gonna have to come out in the street. Okay. I mean, if you wanna go now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I mean, let me. I wanna see what this sound uh, pulling off. Yeah. Don't go too fast so the hood don't fly up. Cause it's not latched. What happened? Well, no, the jump pack is under there. Yeah. yeah. Let me see. Yeah, no, nah, it's going to fly off. Can you, can, you, can you take it off? Huh? Can you take it off now? I can. It probably cut off, though. All right, let's see if you make it. <laughs> you trying to break the shit.
<laughs> See? When I put the, I'm actually gotta swap his Caprice. He gonna be acting a damn fool with that Caprice. Look, look, look. All right. Now for the task at hand. Changing this tire. As soon as I hit the corner, I heard it too. So we got a spare, no biggie. I got a jack in my toolbox. We'll get that on there. And uh, we'll get this changed. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. Got the new, got the spare on there. I also lost a dust cap, grease cap. So um, it's pretty bad. Um, I think I hit the curb when I came in because it split somewhere. Where'd it go? There it is. So this split. Yeah. So no patching that, but it's cool. It's the it's this man's fault. You owe me a tire. We ain't gonna say. <laughs> All right. All right. We said I'm with a tire. It's on camera. <laughs> All right, bro. I'll see you in two weeks then. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, damn. I just got a cut, too. I can't oh. even. Damn. All right. All right. Back to the house. Yes, sir. Anytime. Uh, all right. Back to the crib. All right. We're home. So, got to get on the internet. Try to find me another trailer tire. Um,. So yeah, that's what I did today. I'm trying to put these videos out more often. I think I said that in like my last four videos and I didn't, but I just posted a video yesterday and I'm gonna try to post one tomorrow. Um, so trailer's parked, truck is parked. Um, got like the owner of that car, he came by today, he looked at it, um, happy with all the work. Um, only thing he wants is more base. So I need to, I always tune conservative, conservatively um, because not everybody listens to music the same, you know, some people want a lot of bass, some people want more highs, more mid, you know, so I kind of tune it kind of just where it sounds good all around and then, you know, listen to it. If you want more bass, I can add more bass, stuff like that. So tomorrow I'm going to go back in, retune it, um, probably drop the ohms down on the speakers. Cause right now I think I have them wired to two ohms. So I'm going to drop it down to a one ohm load for that amp because it can handle it. And that'll definitely, um, kick the bass up. Um, if you're a new subscriber coming over from Cool Cars KJ, I definitely appreciate it. Um, I think I got 120 subscribers in the last 24 hours from the video that he posted here at the house. So much love to my boy, Corey. Um, but we got some cool projects coming up. Um, a lot of people were asking me um, to post how I paint the dash because I showed kind of the before and the cutting and everything, but I didn't actually show how I painted it. Um, so I got a really cool project coming up that y'all are gonna love. Um, I got pretty much almost an entire interior out of the black 94 Impala, um, probably two or three videos back. Um, this is all the interior stuff out of it. So I got it, I already did the double D kit on it and I actually repaired the stash um, a little bit. So, but this is a different kit. Um, so getting ready to do that and these are some of the stuff that I use here. This is the, this is it here. That's that color. Um, and I'm in the other garage with my, my Impala is in here. She gets no love, no time, but I got another project coming up real soon. Boom. This is, uh. Another LS harness for another Impala that I'm doing. Been waiting a long time for that one. Um, I have another Impala in the other garage that he showed that's getting the LS. Same people did this harness, which is modern vintage. So um, I got this harness just came in today. So got some cool stuff coming up. So if you like LS swaps, you like Impalas, you pick the right channel. Um, I appreciate all the new subscribers. Appreciate all the likes, comments, and everything like that. I see y'all in the next.